on topic of books, what is your favorite Fazbear Fright story? Ooh. Okay, so first of all, before I explain why... You told okay. me everything. <laughs> so, so I think you just start I, screaming. Can we just like, go to got war? into reading the Fazbear Fright stories, I actually just watched Daco's explanation videos, and that's what actually got me into the Fazbear Fright series. Mm. So the first book I read on my own was 1.35 a.m., and that nostalgia factor, like, for me, makes Room for One More my favorite story in the Faz Fazbear Fright series. Oh, <laughs> okay. I thought I thought you were going to say 1.35 a.m. for a minute, no. and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I, Get him out. No, Room for One More for me is, like, one of my favorite, fa like, like, yeah, yes. I guess, like, there are some other ones that might be better than it, but, like, I feel like because it's, like, the first one I read on my own, I think it's my favorite. <laughs> Good choice, good choice. Yeah, honestly, I agree. Room I, I want to ask. Really Sorry. freak. That that one was a that one was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. it, I, it's it so physically it physically made me sick. Reading. It yeah, physically hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's it. Was a, her. it was I'm a scary it. I story. Her. I, I, I can't it. like it as much because it physically hurts to read it. <laughs> Speaking of physical hurt, I mm -hmm. I just want to get your opinions. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, uh, I went from zero to one hundred real quick. Sorry. Speaking so of sharp feeling sick. Here, okay. Speaking of feeling sick, I want to get your opinions on in the flesh. In the flesh. Because that to me, that oh. to me was a really weird. But for me, like I actually really enjoyed it. I also enjoyed it. I thought like I when, like I feel like it's one of those things where it's like everyone's like I hate it. It's weird. I like I kind of liked, liked it. Anyway. I liked it. Like yeah, I enjoyed it. Like it was one okay. Of the reasons, it's like it's it was really unique whether i mean whether good <laughs> or bad unique we could debate about it, that but like it, it's not like like i feel like you know like there's a lot of stories that are like 1 35 a.m dance with me blackbird like you i feel like you, there's a lot that you can like group in like oh these are this kind of story or something like lonely freddy yeah, right. should be beautiful i can't think of the third one but i know there's a third one uh sergio was kind of everything. the same where so it's like it, body swap like there's like and the, there's like okay yeah we've seen uh, this before scary move on in the flesh was very different it was different <laughs> yeah my story with in the flesh was i had heard about it before i read it so i oh, sort of that's that's bad <laughs> yeah, yeah no. i went in going i i'm gonna i have to hate this because everyone else hates this <laughs> then i read it and for a while for a while after, I still put it kind of low because I was like, if I put this thing higher, I'm gonna get like killed by the but, community. But, but eventually, I just sort of, I just sort of let it go and went. It's a good story. It's not my favorite, obviously. It's not. It's not. I don't think it's in A tier or S tier or anything. It's in uh, my S tier. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you made a short film out of it, so I think we could probably guess. Oh that. my god! Yeah. Oh, uh, I remember but, that. <laughs> really, the ending is the ending is weird. The ending is uncomfortable, but the rest of the story really carries it, in my opinion. Just having such an yeah. awful protagonist just was so entertaining. <laughs> um, What's the psychic? Like okay, so I remember it was like two days after the book had come out, and I was like still thinking about it because, like, um, because like you know, like after like you like build up this book and you're really excited, and then you just think about it when you finish it. And I was on a bike ride, and I was thinking, and I remembered the back of the book, and I was like, oh, math, Matt pours his hatred into a VR game and births the consequence. And I was like, oh my gosh! <laughs> it just kind of clicked while you were on yeah, your bike ride? Yeah, yeah, I was like, births the consequences. I was just like, like, oh no. <laughs> I was just like, uh, wow. I'll, that is I'll amazing. Say, I I'll love say it. For, for In the Flesh, it was still pretty relevant. Like, we have a, a game developer. But it wasn't. Yeah. But it wasn't too weird to where it was deserving. He told me everything kinds of hate. It was still relevant enough to not get as hated as that one. Right, and I don't think it's relevancy that people have a problem with. <laughs> <laughs>